What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video for you today, and this time I wanted to talk about the things that could be added to Dragon Ball Fighters that would make it even more fun than it already is. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really love Dragon Ball Fighters, but there's always room for improvement. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about 5 things that could be added to Dragon Ball Fighters that would make it even better than it already is. Now remember, these are just 5 things that came to me after playing the game for a long time, so if you have any other ideas about how Dragon Ball Fighters can be improved, that I don't list in this video, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. With the introduction out of the way, let's get into my list. Starting off with something small that wouldn't really affect me personally, but I know a lot of people were disappointed with this aspect of the game, and that is to make the single player harder. As somebody that's only played the single player through once, I can definitely say that the game is way too easy. In fact, it feels like there was a disconnect between the priorities during the single player campaign. It seems like a lot of the fun would come from collecting these different badges in order to power yourself up, in order to be able to take on certain strong boss fights, but instead you could probably win through all of these fights with no badges equipped and very low level characters anyway. With a single player structure like this, the game would definitely benefit from taking advantage of harder fights so that the player has to strategically plan their routes through the map in order to make sure that they collect enough experience slash badges to take on the final boss of that stage. As of right now, the single player in Dragon Ball Fighters is great if you want to see interesting character interactions, but very lacking if you're hoping to get any sort of exhilarating gameplay. For number two on my list is another small fix that they could implement, and that's being able to search for party matches in groups. I don't know how many of you have had the opportunity to play with two of your friends and go up against another team of three, but it can be a lot of fun. The only problem is you have to set those up manually, and they did add in an area for searching for party matches, but unfortunately you can't search in groups, which doesn't really make that much sense to me. Why would you queue up for a party type mode when you're searching for single players anyway? It kind of makes the searching for a party mode function useless because you're not really going to find any matches there because most of the people playing party matches are already in teams of three and are just looking for another team to go up against. Maybe being able to queue up together wouldn't fix this problem entirely, but it definitely would make the searching function a lot easier to use. Now that we're on to number three, we're starting to get into the big improvements to the game that would drastically alter the way it's played online. And for this I went with a resetting rank system. I feel that a rank system that resets once every two to three months keeps players involved and keeps the player activity in ranked higher, allowing people to find games easier than they would have if we just have stagnant rank placings like we have now. Rank systems that reset keep better players coming back so they can constantly prove that they're still number one, and it allows newer players a chance to hop into the rank leaderboard without knowing that they'll never catch up to the best of the best. Of course, it should be reset with different gaps in mind. The best of the best facing off against players just jumping into Dragon Ball Fighters for the first time would set a very bad precedent against those newcomers and probably wouldn't make them want to try ranked again. But I believe if this system is done right, it could easily lead to more players being unranked and I think it would be more interactive for the players of the game. But of course, in order for a system like that to actually mean anything, they would have to start punishing rage quitting. Now, although this is only my fourth suggestion on how to make Dragon Ball Fighters better, this is by far my biggest problem with the game. As of right now, rage quitting doesn't cost you any points, and it also doesn't give any points to the person that was going to win that match. So what this allows for is people to just rage quit out of any matches they want, and still keep their points. Now in the game right now, we have a branding type of system, where constant rage quitters will have their name labeled purple, and then players can see their name and back out if they choose to, and not face that person, but that really isn't good enough. All they have to do for this is just take the points away and give them to the person that was going to win anyway. It really doesn't sound like that hard of a fix, so I think Bandai should definitely implement this one sooner rather than later. And number five on my list of things that could be added to Dragon Ball Fighters to make it an even better game is by far my biggest suggestion and should probably be saved for later on down the line whether it be a big update or just a new iteration of Dragon Ball Fighters, And that being that more assists should be added for each character. Having at least three assists really opens up a lot of the lab world for this game. People would be testing stuff with each character all over again, and it would feel like a brand new game had come out. And it can also do wonders for a character's viability. Of course, every character is pretty good in Dragon Ball Fighters right now, but a character could really go from low tier to high tier just by having a godlike assist. I mean, look at Super Saiyan Vegeta. He may not be much on his own, but his assist is just that good that people want to play him. And that could even happen to your favorite character if they would add more assists. And with that, my list is pretty much over. Once again, Dragon Ball Fighters is a phenomenal game, and these are just some ideas I had for how it could be even better. Go ahead and leave me your thoughts on how Dragon Ball Fighters could be improved in the comments below. And while you're down there, remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.